A great coach recently said that the biggest problem with breaststroke is the kick. Because of that, working on when and how to initiate your kick is a much bigger concern than most people think. Why do it? Learning how to time the kick or how to initiate the kick and breaststroke can help create a more efficient and ultimately a faster breaststroke. How to do it. Our goal here is to create a stroke in which the legs are drawn forward by the hips, which are drawn forward by the arms. With this in mind, as you step through these various drills, two focus points are consistent. Allow the legs to stay straight for as long as possible into the pole and to have the hands all the way extended when the kick initiates. Start by swimming easy breaststroke and when you start your pull, relax your legs so they float forward rather than get tucked forward. A little tougher approach is to tie yourself up to a stretch cord and swim to the other end. First, do a small dolphin kick so your legs can stay a bit straighter while you pull. Then add a small breaststroke kick, keeping your legs held back for as long as you can before you kick. This later kick will also help you recover a bit smaller, less resistance. Another fun way is to use paddles, snorkel, and a parachute. The goal here is to finish the recovery of the hands before the kick comes in. The snorkel and slowness of forward movement allows you time to focus on this timing. The alpha fin is a great tool for allowing your legs to float into the kick. They keep the feet high and behind the body. This focus, as in step four, is to finish the extension of the hands before the dolphin kick initiates. Finish with higher speed breaststroke, focusing on how you draw your legs up rather than tuck them up for the kick. How to do it really well, the fine points. To be honest, if you went through all those steps, you've covered all the fine points, so do it really well and keep doing it.